Hello everybody and welcome back to Genesis. Today guys what we're going to be doing is taking you through every single new creature in Genesis starting off with this beast the Blood Stalker. Now obviously I'm in game mode C because I don't want to get annihilated by this thing. Um, we have force tamed it. I believe there is six new creatures in the new Ark Genesis. Oh, there may be more. Uh, I may be mistaken. It is brand new out, so we're just kind of hopping on this straight away to get content out for you guys. Uh, so, yeah, this is the Bloodstalker. It is found in this biome, the uh, little swampy horribleness that that is this place. Uh, I have just finished recording my, my first part on the Let's Play, and I died a bunch. Thanks to a lot of the insect swarms in this place. It's absolutely horrible. Um, but, uh, yeah, this is where you can tame the Bloodstock. It's probably one of the best creatures, personally, I think they've added to the game. So it kind of works like you're a giant Spider-Man, <laughs> essentially. You've got left click, which enables you to uh, grapple his left or her uh, little sort of arms. I don't even know what they, they'd call them. Like, when you sort of hang off things... It kind of goes really fuzzy, like if I'm going to first person, it, it kind of becomes like mesh, it's really weird, but you can lower yourself down with C, so if you want to kind of stalk your enemies, you can kind of go down quite a long way. It is ridiculous how long these bloodstalkers actually stretch. Now you can see that all the creatures around me are glowing in white, we should be able to target these, um, and you can kind of reel them in, like so, you can kind of, oops, I missed <laughs> There you go, the red, you can pull the terror birds in. Once they're in, they can't really do much. Uh, unfortunately, I can't do much either because there's another terror bird on me. <laughs> Your Bloodstalker does need to be at a decent level to be able to kill what you're actually grappling onto. Uh, as you can see, this one is just a random level that I've just tamed. I think it's eight, uh, 38. Okay, I'm going to get out of this way too loud. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, so this thing can kind of grapple in enemies and start going to town on them. But as I say, you need to be careful because if you're going to try and uh, attack in like a T-Rex or a Kano or just some sort of bigger predator, then you really need to be a higher level with this thing. It's, I'd say its main sort of uh, function is definitely the mobility. Just the, being able to traverse the landscape with such ease and especially in this uh, annoying sort of... Uh, swampy area you you desperately do need to be high up like you get pestered by swarm insects all the time so this thing is definitely an awesome creature to have uh let's try and uh really one of these uh moss shops and uh, i'll show you what these guys can actually do you can also go into first person and kind of just see your team going at it <laughs> which is pretty scary Look at me, I'm just dangling there. <laughs> also, the Bloodstock has a C attack. Uh, that monster is going like, to literally jump off now. Uh, but if you press C, you can see it kind of like uses its front legs to kind of like slice enemies, which is kind of awesome. So yeah, this is this is pretty cool. As I say, you've got these little uh, circles, which which it'll kind of show the distance where you can actually travel to. I believe. Um, Basically, if it shows the circle in uh, a yellow or a blue, that is where you can actually go to. Otherwise, um, you can't. But apart from that, you can go pretty far. You can also go upside down. If I press K, you can see we're actually uh, traversing underneath the rock now, which is uh, amazing. Sort of like the Tappy Jara, where you can kind of go underneath uh, things. So it's pretty awesome, actually. But I think it's going to take a while to get used to this thing. Um, the mechanics are... I wouldn't say hard but you know you're really gonna have to get, spend a little bit of time just to get used to the uh, swinging mechanics uh, to get the most out of this creature um, i'm just kind of dangling at the minute for some reason <laughs> i'm holding in left click but it's just it just doesn't seem to be working it's gonna be pretty scary as well to be just like you know living in this area and see these guys flying over your head and, and stuff it's it's pretty scary it's gonna take a lot of getting used to but yeah that's the blood stalker i do absolutely love it i think it's such a, a great tame to have and it's definitely gonna be quite a a sort after one but uh yeah let's move on to the next creature so here we have the mega shillon <laughs> i think that's the name mega chillon mega shillon anyway this dude is a absolute beast of the underwater world <laughs> uh you can basically build a base on his back he's quite slow but the ability to build bases on his back uh with his makeup for it also uh you can use c to go down and then space to actually come back up to the surface 
While you're on his back, another cool thing is that you can actually breathe underwater. So you can really take these guys uh, down to the depths of the ocean, not be worried about having to take too many like scuba tanks along with you. You can kind of keep him down there. Uh, you can have all your base down there, which is just absolutely amazing. I don't know what he's doing. He's kind of buried his, his face in the rock. There we go, there's a wild one. <laughs> I have forced him, but you can get a saddle on him, which allows for extra passengers uh, to be able to sit on his back. Oh, we're like literally right up against the world here. His attacks are... His left click is definitely his main attack. And then he does like a bubble breath. As you can see, there's the, a little sort of meter there. I am not 100% sure what the bubble breath does. Uh, as I say, it's quite new, so I'm not really that too sure. I don't think it's going to do any damage. I can't see bubble breath do any damage. Maybe it basically allows it tames underwater to be able to breathe. Maybe like... I don't know, bubble air to them. <laughs> I don't know. I'm all kind of guessing. I just kind of wanted to show you guys the new creatures. I'm not 100% sure. I do want to take one of these guys uh, in my Let's Play. So make sure you go over and check out the Let's Play. And uh, hopefully we can get one of these. He is uh, he's quite a sad looking creature though, to be fair. <laughs> This guy's only level 15, you can see he's pretty tanky, uh, he's got quite a lot of weight to him, and uh, he's got decent stats, but he is uh, pretty trash uh, in terms of movements, you do not really want one of these guys for uh, moving quickly around the map. And there's an electric eel on us right now, this is great. Hey, have some bubble breath. Is that gonna do anything? No, I didn't think the bubble breath actually did anything, let's just attack these eels. Try and get these eels off our backs. This is definitely going to be a problem, which I'm glad I'm highlighting right now, is uh, trying to actually maneuver this guy to kill other predators in the ocean is going to be kind of hard, as you can see. He's, he's, uh, he's got some decent stats, but because he moves so slow, you're going to need to basically um, have this guy alongside other sort of sea predators, whether it be, you know, megalodons or whatnot. You're going to have to use them in unison um, to really protect yourself because, uh, yeah, he's, uh, he's very slow. Uh, let's move on to probably one of my favorite creatures in the game. All right, guys, welcome to the Arctic biome. This is where avalanches do occur. Uh, it's a very cold place, as you can see. Very pretty, though. Uh, this is where we will find the shapeshifter and also a very hungry monkey. <laughs> well, here's the ferox in its most powerful form. Uh, as you can see, it's looking straight up like a werewolf. This thing is pretty crazy. Let's get on its back. And, uh, yeah, as you can see, it's got a transformation, uh, lifetime, and an addiction. So I'm guessing the thing that the Ferox needs to transform, if you use it too much, then it'll basically transform into this state forever. So you need to re really be careful with how many times you transform it, and, uh, yeah, just, just be careful with it. Because if it gets too aggro, it'll kick you off and start attacking you and all your tames, so you really need to be careful with this thing. Kind of like Jackal and Hyde, but very epic. Very epic. We got a left click of like a swipe attack. Right click is more of like a pound. And C you can actually pick up and throw rocks with, which is pretty amazing. All right, well, an avalanche happened and my game crashed, so let's hope that doesn't happen again. So yeah, the, another good thing about this uh, shapeshifter is his ability to traverse the landscape. Uh, it works in the same way as the Deinonychus, um, as, you know, they kind of, like, jump like this. Still very epic. I like him. He is, uh, he's going to be such an awesome uh, tame. Uh, I'm going to spawn in the normal version. <laughs> the normal version. <laughs> the, basically, the, the unevolved version, should we say. This guy doesn't actually seem to be taking fall damage either, which is an awesome thing. We can kind of launch him off high spots and... Uh, yeah, he seems to be fine. Here are his stats from level 22. You can kind of see all the stuff. Anyway, let's get the cute creature out. I do like this guy, but uh, a lot of you people are probably going to be using uh, the cute form a lot more. Here he is, the baby Ferox. Ah, uh, this is why I'm going to be using him as more. Look at him. He's such a cute little version. He jumps on your shoulder. Ah, he's so cute. Are you so cute? Oh, amazing. So these guys will actually dig uh, element out of the ground, I believe. Oh my goodness, look at this variant. Okay, anyway, Ferox, Ferox. Uh, you can throw him out. Same way as any other shoulder mount. And he does this cool little tumbly style animation. Very cute. Come to daddy. <laughs> Come to papa. Come to papa. Look how he walks. 
Oh, he's so cute. I mean, I've kind of turned them the wrong way around, but this one, I wanted to end on the cutest one. Ah, oh, he's awesome. Can't wait to get him. Super cool. Anyway, you can join me for the rest of the video, so you come with me. We're going to go and uh, get to a new biome. Best thing about this teleportation as well is that you can actually teleport creatures, uh, which is pretty awesome. Uh, I just don't know how it's going to work in terms of, like, PvP and whatnot. Uh, if you're going to be battling on a server and you want to kind of get to a different biome, like, surely, um... Does you, do the players that you're battling against go with you? Like, how... What, I don't understand how it works, but I'm sure we'll find out. Welcome to the volcanic region. This place is full of different X variants uh, from some of the different creatures. As you can see there, we've got a couple of awesome-looking T-Rexes that uh, have the X variant, which is very amazing. This Ferox is just coming for a fly with me. <laughs> uh, don't care, your dad is God. So if you actually head into the volcano itself, you can see here, these are the magma saws. Uh, these are where they actually... This is the home. This is where they, they reside. Um, I don't know if you head further in. I don't know if this is where you actually find the, the eggs or whatnot. We can have a, a quick look. It's not going to hurt. As you can see, he's just chilling. And I am uh, getting annihilated by bats. I really should have, like... Um, <laughs> I should disable the creature uh, so they can't see me. But anyway, I think this is where the eggs are. Here we go. Look, you can see the magma saw eggs. If you just yank one of this. Look! Surprise, surprise! We're in a volcano and it says too cold. Let's pick one of these bad boys up. I'll be taking this. Sorry. This is mine now. Here's a good look at them. <laughs> well, I'm not getting annihilated by them. Um, oh, look at it. It looks so good. Let's take it back. These are my favorite. They look amazing. So apparently you can actually smelt stuff inside of these guys. And I probably think you can use their inventory as a forge. Uh, yeah. Just put a saddle on this guy. Oh my goodness, look at this. So we're inside a little protective, uh, a little bit of, I say a little bit, we're inside a protective cocoon here. So I believe once you've got this on, you can actually swim in lava and not take any sort of damage whatsoever. So his left attack is a bite. As you can see, you can collect stone and metal as well from the surrounding rocks. And these aren't even, uh, metal rocks, I believe. And he's just getting a crazy amount of resources from them. Uh, his left click is a fireball, which you can hold right to charge. I think it's to charge. There you go. Searing spit, 100%. Oh my goodness, just a massive attack on these guys. Now, we've also got another attack, which is on my... Anyways, before I was really interrupted, uh, you can charge up the right attack with the right click. This is going to be a lot more effective against creatures that aren't from this region. <laughs> uh, but you can throw this pretty far. This is going to be good for infiltrating bases and setting... Well, for setting the enemy dinosaurs on fire. <laughs> if you hold the on him, as you can see, you've got a nibble smelting. Which is pretty amazing. We have got ourselves some metal inside him at the minute. His food is going down, so I guess once you start smelting with him, you're going to need to kind of really make sure he's got food inside him at all times since he's using his energy to, to produce some metal ingots for you. Look at this. And he's actually cooking the food as well, which is pretty sick. His other... It doesn't, it doesn't really seem to have any other attacks. I thought he did the artillery strike, but none of the attacks are actually allowing me to do this. I don't know if this is something that wild ones do, or maybe I'm just doing it wrong, but... I, in the trailer, they, they they are supposed to do like, you know, sort of like little artillery out of the backs, which is uh, not something that they're letting me to let me allowing me to do now, should I say? Anyway, that is the magma saw. I'm sorry, I couldn't I couldn't do the artillery strike thing, but we've gone through his main attacks. He seems like he can swim in lava. This guy is a, is a beast. We've got one more to check out, which is the space whale. Which, uh, I'm gonna go do that now. I'm gonna have to leave this magma saw here. I'm sorry, mate. I'll see you in a bit. Bye, Bob! Have fun, dude! See you on the flip-flop! Guys, welcome to the space whale! Look at this guy. Isn't he a champ? Uh, he does have a saddle, which I will equip in a second. Now, this guy does have a tech saddle, which we've just equipped. As you can see, it looks pretty epic. We are overheating. It's, t it's telling us to get in the shadows, which is kind of weird. Maybe I'm in a, in a weird place in the galaxy. Maybe I should be... Let's go underneath. I used to say, it's telling me to get in the shadow, so maybe we need to actually, like, go underneath these big, big boulders. When you actually land him as well, you do get this kind of, like, force field around him. It's pretty, pretty crazy. Now, this guy does have, uh, his main attack. 
which is this giant bite, which is crazy. Uh, right click does a big old cosmic tail swipe, <laughs> which is insane. You can also go into hyperdrive with it by holding space and then left clicking at a target. This will just full on send you. Now this guy does have a tech saddle on him, but uh, it's not actually letting me go into the little turrets. As you can see, there's like a little turret at the top, which I'm guessing you could shoot out of because it's got guns. Uh, and I believe there's one on one below, and there's a little bit of a base here, so I'm not sure if you can build on it, but uh, yeah, that is the space whale. These guys are pretty crazy. There's one more to look at, guys, which is the boss, uh, which we're going to go look at now. I accidentally teleported my whale here. <laughs> oh, well, <laughs> you could stay here, space whale. And there is the murder. Murder. <laughs> look at him. He's crazy. He's just got a face. Can we swim? Oh, goodness. Oh, wow. You're a big boy. You are a big boy. <laughs> um, so, this guy does have a body, I promise you. I wonder if we can force tame him just to, like, just see what he's like. There he goes. You can see Murder Master of the Ocean. This, this, this guy or gal is definitely the master of the ocean. It says move close to ride, but let's be honest, we can't really get any closer. It is saying its name's up here, which is really ridiculous. <laughs> I wonder if we stand up here, we'll be able to ride it. Oh, it kind of like, it kind of threw me on the, on like, the mount then, but it wouldn't let me on. Okay, where am I? Okay, I think I've glitched the game. <laughs> Oh, I've glitched the game. <laughs> uh, it's in the ground again. Anyway, guys, that is the murder. Uh, I wish we could get a look at it properly, but it just seems to be like doing this, like coming up and then going back down. You never know. That that might be just what the thing's all about. But um, anyway, hope you've enjoyed this video, guys. Hope you've enjoyed uh, seeing all the new creatures. I'm sorry if I'm not that, you know, in informational. Is that a word? Hopefully, uh, my information has been okay. <laughs> it's the first time I've done one of these videos, but I really want to check all the creatures out. So, if you have enjoyed, if you did, please smash like, check out the Let's Play, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!